Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Darius M. Women are just shocked that men are happier without them. Please ask them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Why do girls put guys in the friend zone? Because we don't like them. They're too nice. What's wrong with being nice? We like toxic. What type of toxic? Don't reply. I'm not sorry for what I'm about to do. My man. <laughs> what are you doing? Rejected. If Rejected. a guy gives you an engagement ring and he calls off the engagement, should you give the ring back? No, hell no. One thing I'm sick of having to explain is why I have eight baby daddies. Guys, just don't approach anymore. Can someone just date me already so I have someone that can join me at my family's beach condo? No? What? Men are giving up on dating. And one of the reasons why is because of women's expectations. Women need to start making the first move. If anyone wants to be in a relationship, that's absolutely what has to happen. It just has to happen. Guys, in the comments, back me up on this. We have told men for years that their masculinity is toxic. Some men, as they got interested in dating, that's literally all they know, is to stay away from women, is to not bother them. and definitely don't it's probably the best them. route listen a lot of men are saying i'm done i'm tapping out i don't want to do it anymore i don't want to interact with women i don't want to approach women i don't want to shoot my shot i don't want any of that because women seem like they don't like you right now it's not all women but most women you know think that men are just these terrible individuals yeah a lot of women think that men are just supposed to We're worse than bears way, provide for them give them money take them shopping and that's it they don't think men have feelings they don't think men have any desires. They just think that we're supposed to be on this earth to please them and make them happy. And that's it. And a lot of guys say, you know what? I'm keeping my money. I'm taking my investments and resources and I'm keeping it for myself. And a lot of women are feeling the effects. Is anyone looking for a housewife? Blonde hair, 5'2", blue eyes. Blonde hair, 5'2", blue eyes. Anyone looking for a housewife? Housewife, housewife. Is it that men just don't want to commit anymore? I was reading an article on that the other day. It said it's like the new norm. Like it's okay for men not to want to commit anymore like they used to. Or is it that they have too many options now with all these dating sites? And No, most normal guys do not have too many options. You know, women willing to be in open relationships, but what I know for me is that I, don't, I really don't know if I'll ever meet someone of substance that truly wants what I want, and it's sad. No, say you could have found it when you weren't so beat up from the wall. They said wanting what I want, but what about what that man wants? See, they don't think about man. They just think nope. that we're supposed to just be here to take me, care of them me, and, me. and do their bidding and roll the red carpet out and make them happy. What about that man's desires? What about that man's thoughts? He's a human being as well. This is why a lot of men are saying I'm dealt with commitment mm -hmm. because commitment to men means sacrifice. Commitment to women means I just get a lot of stuff <laughs> and he gets I get all the attention. I True. get the dates and the, the trips and the gifts. This is why men don't want to date anymore, because it, it just seems like a daunting task. Like, man, I got to commit. I got to do all this. It seems like a burden. So today was giving bare <laughs> minimum. Good morning. Good morning. I didn't reply with an emoji because like, why would I? Yeah. Why? How are we feeling? I called him. Damn, they screenshotted this and put it on the TV and did a whole PowerPoint presentation for this. He doesn't pick up. I say, call me. He goes, holds up, baby girl, talking to my man. He's telling me something. I'm like, okay, very dry. 11.58. Very he responds, dry. 1.38. It's texting so long, in the morning. I didn't want to respond. Still right doesn't away. call you back. Still doesn't call me back. Okay. So then I call me. How sisterhood keeps each other single <laughs> right here. Me. And they're like, you never call me back, it's so annoying. <laughs> 244 responds at 820. I've legit still called me. You let <laughs> guys. What are you doing? What am I doing right now? Nothing. You're not responding. No. It's done. No, let's respond something mean. It's what done. Do you do Social media influence. What do you think I do for a living? Damn. You need to do a little Make music. No, I do down to collab since you're a little influencer? Uh, no, Make a bag? Not at all? 
But you even gave me like a hard look. First rejection ever. My ego shot. First rejection? Lies. What kind of world do we live in where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date? Because you're lying. Well, that's the issue. Normal, regular, average, everyday girls, women, don't want to be with normal, average, everyday guys. Yep. Women, due to hypergamy, they want guys who are way better than them. They're shooting for that top 5 10%. Because these guys don't want a real woman. They want a fantasy. They want to live in this fake fantasy world. They would rather jack off to some screen, to some robot rather than actually deal with a real human being and what yeah when you're a miserable broke dusty musty crusty yeah i would rather deal with a screen or a robot than you comes with that you know what no i said rather with deal with a real human being what comes with that which means a lot of headaches ups and downs mood swings drama bills gifts all these different things it, it, listen the women don't understand that there's a lot that goes into them emotions problem solving arguing back and forth like a lot of guys are saying i ain't doing it no more would you date a plus size girl yeah i would <laughs> have you dated a plus size girl no not yet <laughs> not yet i guess smash or pass me pass, pass. rejected <laughs> How much do you think a guy should spend on an engagement ring? I think 10 times their salary. I have a feeling that this girl has no idea what a salary actually is. <laughs> like, no man is going to go into debt for a woman that's $3.99 a month on OF. That's one thing you never told your ex. We both cheated on each other. You each think you don't know, but you each know? Exactly. Oh you got God. it. It's okay. It's, it's toxic, but it's okay. What's one thing you lied about to your ex? It's something that he never knew. I a friend. Oh, word. This thing Sorry, my okay, one time I lied to my ex about like, you know, a sugar daddy type situation yeah. and I wrote it down in my journal and I left my journal yeah. at his house and then he was like, he read my journal and then he was like, what? And I was like, she belongs to the street. I don't know what's in the air this summer, but this is the fourth time that I've had a guy ask me out on a date to go on a walk. Do I look like a dog to you? Like, be so serious. <laughs> I can't stand when people don't put effort into things. You know, they put effort. They just didn't put money. And that's what you care about is the money. You gold digging whore. The reason why men are taking women on coffee dates and walks in the park is because we don't trust you. See, you guys have messed up chivalry. You have taken advantage of good men, good guys who had good intentions, who took you on dates, who took you out to eat, and then you ghosted them. You got rid of them, and you went on to the next guy. Now men are adjusting. They're saying, you know what? I ain't taking you out to eat. I ain't spending my hard-earned money on you just for you to say, uh, I don't feel the connection. Uh, it's not working out. Uh, hey, um, I, I'm just not feeling it. And now we're out $70, $80, $90. No, you're going to take this walk in the park. You're going to take this coffee date. And then I'll see if you deserve that nice date, that restaurant. Until then, this is what you're going to accept, ladies. You have messed it up. You have taken men's kindness for weakness. Hold on. What's up, boy? What's going on, bro? Come pick it up? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, bang good, Will. Yeah, this is my girl over here. I'm gonna be a girl. Yo, girl. Oh, so that how we doing, Tisha? Tisha. Yeah, this is my girl. And actually, my fiance. My fiance. Yeah, man. This. I don't know if this is a skit. I want to say hopefully it is, just because how the camera has been set up. But I'm also not so sure either, because shit like this does happen. This ain't like, what the f***? Hold on, my f***. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. I don't, are you talking about Kim? Kim? Yeah. That's my nickname. How y'all know each other? Man, I ain't got to worry about all that. Right? What's your line going over here, though? <laughs> Oh, oh, but hold on, bro, hold on, hold on, let me, let me, let me stop you though, for real, like, ain't your name Kim? Bro, I just met off a date now. Explain that, date now. Well, I just came up here. Hold on, man, this, this, this show be, like, stalking. Hold on, hold on, bro. Marry me now, oh! 
they handled the boys handled it pretty well. I'm, I'm glad they didn't put hands on each other. They're still boys. They understood who was the culprit. I'm dying. <laughs> Marry me right now, or I'm dying. I'm dying. I guess she's dying. You know the saying, it's a small world. Shit like that probably happens more often than you would think, just because it's really a small world. Everybody's connected within only like two or three connections of each other. So, yeah, when you're connected uh, through one vagina, it sucks. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And get you guys next time. Ciao.